I often get asked about the use of bore cuts and wedges. People ask and say, do you, do you always use a wedge, use a bore cut on every tree? The answer is no. You need to understand the reactive forces no matter whether you're cutting firewood or you're felling trees, whether it's a, a hazard tree situation, a dead tree, a, a you know, hollow tree. A lot of people think, oh, bore cut's slower. If you have a complete plan in your head, the five steps that we use, the hazards and obstacles, the lean, the escape route, the hinge size, the back cut, we go through that process. Heavy forward leaning trees, smaller back leaning trees, hollow trees, we're knowing if the fiber is good or bad. All of that is something that a bore cut or plunge cut can tell you. And I think this wedge technique can help maybe a lot of you. And if you've never tried it, it, it cuts down a lot of resistance and uh, it makes lifting a large tree very, very easy. So many times people try to stack the wedges on top of each other to drive in the back of the kerf. And what happens, you've increased or doubled the ramp on the wedges. So the, the actual lifting angle is increased. It's kind of like a, a splitting wedge is way, way too steep to be able to lift uh, a lot of weight very easily. You see, a, a thin taper makes it much easier to lift the tree. A longer wedge actually also makes it easier to lift the tree. But it's uh, something where most people try to stack it on top this way, drive it in, and it creates a lot of, of uh, uh, pressure, it tries to lift too quickly, and it takes a lot harder hit on the hammer. This way, you see, and go in the back of the, the kerf, then more or less as you drive it in, you have almost a flat lifting action. And so much less friction, and the wedges can, as you have one as a shim and one as a slider, you drive both of them in, you end up with the same two inches of lift at the base, at the back, but you have have the ability to uh, lift it nice and evenly and a lot less resistance to be able to drive them in. And so in, in some of our, our, our videos, that's, that's what you see. So I hope to see you along the Four Steps Road in the future. And this is Tim Ard wishing you good sawing. If you're interested in learning more on chainsaw planning, applications, and safety, chainsaw workshops and points of discussion, hazard recognition and safety concerns, personal protective equipment, chainsaw reduced downtime maintenance, saw chain selection and sharpening techniques, reactive forces including kickback, the directional felling, limbing, and bucking. Forest Applications Training Incorporated certificates will be awarded for completion of the workshops. Register now for our first open enrollment workshop. It'll be January 16th, 2024 from 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. Instructor will be myself, Tim Ard. That can be signed up and paid for on our e-store. Contact us on cost per person for larger groups at info at forestaffs.com. I hope to see you at one of our virtual workshops. This is Tim Ard wishing you good sawing.